First at noon, it's the worst news possible for families of the 162 people on board that missing Air Asia plane. Today, they learned plane debris had bodies and have been found in the Java Sea. Now, crews from around the world, including the United States, are heading to Indonesia to help in the recovery efforts. CBS 4's Natalia Zia is here now with the latest. Natalia? Well, Elliot, while this grim discovery provides some relief knowing where this plane is, this is really devastating news for those family members who know and love the 162 people on board that flight. Crews were lowered into the waters off Borneo Island to recover bodies spotted floating in the Java Sea. Relatives of the missing cried out in anguish. The victims and debris spotted roughly six miles from the airliner's last known location. Searchers found debris in at least three separate locations, but so far, no survivors. Now, the somber task of recovering the wreckage, the flight data and cockpit voice recorders, and piecing together what caused the plane to go down. The U.S. is now part of the recovery effort. The USS Sampson is joining a growing number of ships, planes, and helicopters involved in the mission, which has been expanded to cover land. The Navy has eavesdropping uh, technology that is second to none. They can pick up just about any signal that is coming, especially the shallow waters. The missing plane with 162 people on board left Indonesia Sunday morning headed to Singapore. It vanished shortly after the plane's captain requested to fly at a higher altitude because of bad weather. The request was denied because of heavy air traffic. In addition to weather, investigators will also look at whether the plane was going too slow, had mechanical failure, and how the pilots may have reacted to an emergency on board. AirAsia had previously offered to fly the grieving family members above the search area to pray for their loved ones. It's unclear whether they will take that flight after this devastating discovery. Both Indonesia's president and AirAsia CEO expressed their condolences to the families of those on board that flight. And so did many relatives of those on board Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, which vanished 10 months ago. Natalia Zaya, CBS4 News. Natalia.